guys, and welcome back to another Cue the Confetti. We are outside today and we are going to do some science fun. We will need a cup and a spoon, a permanent marker, a few paper bags or plastic bags, Ziploc bags, baking soda, and glasses, and a white vinegar. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna draw a picture on your plastic bag if you want to. You don't even have to do this part. Make sure you don't poke through the plastic bag and just draw like a happy face or a scared face or an animal, because it's gonna explode. Yes. And I'll make the little bristles. I wanna come in. Perfect. Next, you're gonna open up your Ziploc bag and put your finger in one of the corners. Yep, just like that, don't poke through. And now put that corner into your cup. Perfect. And now you're gonna clip that just like that. And now you can take your finger out. Now don't move it. Now your corner is right in the bottom of that cup and it's gonna help us, So that because we only have two hands. So the cup's kind of giving us another hand. What you're going to do next is put two heaping tablespoons of baking soda into the into that corner. One. Two. Now, very carefully, you're gonna pull that bag back out of your, your cup. Make sure all that baking soda is in that one corner. And then you're gonna twist. Let me show. You're gonna twist that baking soda <laughs> so that it's nice and tight and not anywhere else but in that corner. So twist it a couple of twists. This much? Let me see. Perfect. Now, with help of some, let me see, let go. Perfect. Now, if you want to close pin this, you can close pin it shut. We're gonna get a close pin and close pin that part of it shut. So again, you can have extra hands. And then the reaction won't happen before you're ready for it too. Find a clothespin, so we got a chip clip, but it still works. And then you're gonna stick it back in the cup. Put your finger in the opposite corner. No, in the opposite corner. Now put that down in the cup. So and do the exact same thing you did before. Except for it's weighted, so you kind of have to hold it down. And I'm going to pour the vinegar. Then we're going to explode it. It's not going to happen. See, it's kind of, we've got a little bit more than two tablespoons, but now the important part. It smells bad. What does it smell like? It smells like, so you know those like salt and vinegar chips? Yeah, that you love? Yeah, they smell like that, but really vinegary. Okay, so now you're gonna close the Ziploc bag. Are you ready? Yeah. Lay it down. Okay, here we go. Here's another chemical reaction. We're gonna twist and shake and lay down. Ready? Go. You gotta shake it. What did vinegar and baking soda do? It explodes stuff. <laughs> it gives us off, off a gas. And the gas filled up so tight into the Ziploc bag that the Ziploc bag had to break. 
to relieve the pressure. So today's experiment is an easy and fun one. It's fun to do outside so you don't have to worry about making a mess in your house. But if you have a tray inside, stick it on the tray, wash it off. It's vinegar and baking soda so it can't really hurt you. But we learned that when you mix an acid and a base, it makes a gas. In this case, carbon dioxide, the same stuff that we breathe, exhale out of our lungs. And it makes a big gas and it blows up. How exciting is that? Please always like and subscribe for our page. It helps us out a lot. And we want to see what you've done today. So tag us on Facebook and Instagram. We want to see your creations. Yeah. As always, we hope that you celebrate today.